Hello YouTube. So back in November, I pre-ordered the brand new Autel Nano Plus. And I must say it's been a long time since I've been this excited about a drone. The Nano Plus offers just about everything that an Air 2S has to offer, but in the form factor of a Mini 2. This is something that prosumers have been looking for and have been asking for for quite some time. And a company finally brought it to market. So the Autel uh, Nano Plus was purchased from Autel Pilots. It was purchased for about 939 US dollars and it included a 64 gigabyte um, micro SD card. It had a couple of delays before it shipped, but it did ship via DHL just after Christmas. And luckily for me, I, I received this drone yesterday. So when I received it in Canada, there was an additional 40 some odd dollars in brokerage fees, which all of our, which all of us Canadians are pretty well accustomed to by now. Uh, I didn't even bother doing an unboxing video. I just wanted to get this thing in the air and get a feel for how it was going to fly. Now, when I did open the box though, however, I was shocked at the fit, finish and quality of uh, the uh, Nano Plus. This drone feels closer to the DJI Mavic 3 than it does the Mini 2. Um, the plastics, the arms, the way it folds, it's just a high quality experience. I don't know how else to describe it. It's something that you have to put into your hands and compare to a Mini 2 to be able to understand. And that experience didn't just end at the drone. Uh, the controller also had that same fit, finish, and feel. Something that was closer to the uh, RC Pro than it is to the standard um, RC that comes with uh, most DJI drones, including the Mavic 3. So uh, let's talk about getting this thing prepared for flight. First thing you have to do is uh, download all the firmware updates. That took about 10 to 15 minutes to download and install. Then you have to do your IMU cal calibrations and your compass calibrations, and then clear an area for this thing to take off. Now, after I got it into the air, the first thing that I noticed was that the obstacle avoidance was incredibly clunky and cumbersome, so I turned it off. The next thing that I did was I decided to take it up to about probably about 60 or 70 feet just to get a sense for uh, the video quality. First impressions of the video quality, crisp, clear, really nice colors. It was living up to its height. Uh, after about three or four minutes of flying it around, trying the hyperlapse and various video modes, uh, I started to notice that the horizontal axis on the gimbal started to tilt. First, just a little bit, and then a little bit more, a little bit more, and before I knew it, um, the uh, video was quite skewed on its horizontal axis, so I decided to bring it down and take a closer look. Now, as I was lowering the drone at about 10 feet, now, mind you, obstacle avoidance is off, but at about 10 feet, I started to notice that the sticks were not as responsive. And then when it got down to about five or six feet, I started to lose control. And I was trying to fight that loss of control, but the stick input was, um, getting less and less, uh, how would I describe it? Um, the drone was going in one direction and the sticks were just barely holding on, but it was, it was going faster and faster in the direction I didn't want to go away from me. Uh, so much so that I decided to chase after it. Um, I then lost total control of the drone and it did a semi-circle flight and crashed into the ground. Once you have a single flyaway or a single loss of control, you lose confidence and if you lose confidence, somebody like me no longer wants to fly it. So I reached out to uh, Autel about the issue. I basically explained to them that I wasn't interested in beta, beta testing their drone for $1,000. And I would like uh, them to refund my money and provide me with uh, a shipping label to send this back to them. So I'll wait and see how that goes. The weight of this drone um, with a micro SD card comes in at, un at over 249 grams. Now I'm not sure if that's just my scale that needs to be calibrated, but I'm going to get to the bottom of that as well. I'm going to take it to the post office and <laughs> use their uh, scale to see if I can get uh, a better idea of just how much this thing weighs. So disappointing start, disappointing launch from Autel. Um, you know, maybe they're going to fix it. Maybe they won't. But uh, for now, this drone is uh, not something that I would uh, recommend that you purchase your money, sorry, that you put your hard earned money into. 
However, I will have an affiliate link for Autel Pilots down below. So if you do decide to throw caution to the wind, please use my affiliate link. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, see you again next time.